Hello, my lovely people, and today um, we're going to be reviewing this this 99 cent store Lego set. I found this Lego set at the 99 cent store for Christmas time. Um, it's six dollars. Um, I found it. It's six and up. The fire rescue set, compatible with other like other Lego brands and brands in general, has 196 pieces. And and if you're wondering uh, what um what's this rip-off brand of Legos called. Well, here it is. It's called Build Me Up. I don't know what this... I don't know what... I've never heard of this brand. Um, taking a look at the back of the box. It's just the same image, but flipped. Now let's get on to the minifigures. So here's the set all build up. We have two minifigures. We have the fire engine and a bunch of accessories. So let's get on to the minifigures. Okay, here are the two minifigures of the set. I'm putting them, I, I'm putting the minifigures side by side on this little um, plate, uh, this little Lego plate piece that's official. Um, but the only reason why I'm doing this is because um, both of these figures are identically the same. All the pieces, the hands, the legs, the torsos, and even the hats are the same. The only difference is the, is the um, head. So we're going to look at all the printing. As you can see, all this nice printing. There is no back printing or leg printing, um, which I I actually kind of expected it to have leg and, uh, what's it called, um, back torso printing. You can see all the, um, you can see like the buttoned up shirt on both of them. Um, you can see the color for the skin on the torso is darker than the skin for the regular Lego head. I don't know why um, that is, but uh, we're not going to criticize it. You can see um, the, the two minifigures have two different expressions. One on the left has a, um, a more open mouth and happy um expression and the other one is just like oh i'm so cool i'm the coolest person around and he, uh, he has his sunglasses or his blacked out eyes and um here i have a, a regular minifigure torso and i'm going to put the come on i'm gonna put the mini ugh, put the minifigure head i'm gonna put the minifigure head on to this actual lego torso and it actually does fit so if you wanted to um uh, throw these minifigure faces and stuff inside your uh lego city um go for it but um most people that don't like do, do not like bootleg they're probably going to be very uh confused on like why are these in my city and um and um if you're one and if you're wondering um the mini, uh, the top of these Lego heads have like this um, little gear type, um, gear type um, looking. What is it called? Like you know how the circle, you know how the circle, uh, you know how regular minifigures have circle, uh, a circle carved out and to on top. Well, um, with the with the gear type of look on this bootleg minifigure, you're not able to put on like a regular um um like hairpiece or hat without it falling off very easily. So that's going to be a problem if you really want to put these figures into your collection. Um these ugh, I'm just gonna take the hat and the minifigure head uh uh, away because I don't want to put it, try to put it back on the the articulation on this um these bootleg minifigures are is actually pretty um pretty um functional you can see there's only like one um there's like a technic pin uh type torso and it goes into um the torso like so and then you're if I can get it on you can like uh um turn the torso 360 degrees, um, you're able to, uh, move the arms out and forward as much as you like, it's not that, it's not that limiting, the hands are very loose, as you can see, I'm barely even touching it, and it's already, like, coming off, it's, like, spinning all over the place, the legs just came off, uh, oh, god, the camera fell, uh, this is why I don't like uh, these type of bootleg figures. 
because they make the camera fall because they have bad luck. The the legs can really move all over the place, as you can see. They they're they're like moving all over the place. Yeah, yeah that fancy footwork. But um, that's um, that's the minifigures. Mm, I really dislike these minifigure like body pieces. I really like the face prints and the hats, but everything else is just bland. Um, now let's move on to the main build of the set. All right, the main build of the set is this giant fire truck. From all angle, from all angles, this looks like a actual like fire truck. Like you could actually fit this in your Lego city. Like you would never, like no one will ever find out that it's like fake. But if you're um, but if you still have the box and showing the the per uh, another person, they will know it's fake. But you, but if they you don't have the box no more, they'll just be like, hey, can I um uh hey uh, can you Teach me on how to build this uh, Lego set. I'm actually this like um, fire engine. I'm really interested. And you would um, give the um, the person who's asking the, for the instructions on how you made it. You would give them the instructions, and they'll be like, "Thanks, man. Th this is really cool. I'm gonna add this to my Lego city." And um, you you will be like a very nice guy if you do that. But anyway, enough talk. Um, you can see there's like an interior um, into this space. I'm lifting up the ladder, you had to remove the whole entire roof. Um, roofs, uh, you got to get rid of both roof sections. And then you can fit a character inside there. So let me demonstrate. Um, you can, I'm going to get the sun shades guy and then I'm going to put him in the seat um, very loosely. Um, we're going to put him in the seat and we're going to. Um, Oh god, the minifigure's falling out already. But you can but you get the point. It's a regular chair piece in there and I'm gonna try to make it seem like he's in there and then he fits in there pretty nicely. Um I don't think his legs are gonna fit on the chair pretty good. Um you can see all the uh the tools that they need. You got a you got a shovel, you got a um axe, I think. Uh, you got a, a wrench, and then you got a more realistic hammer. I'm going to get all the Lego, like the, like these are fake, um, Lego, but I'm going to get all, like, the official Lego pieces to all these, like, things. Okay, I'm done finding all the Lego pieces. Okay, so the Lego pieces on the right are the official lego pieces and then on the left is the fake so we're going to start off with the shovel you can see the fake lego shovel and the real lego shovel they're actually pretty different like the the pale the like the pale part like the scooper part on the fake lego one on the top um has like a more rounder type look but on the official lego it's more of like a square type look Looking at the crow uh, wrench, I was about to say a crowbar. The one on the bottom is the official, and the one on the top is the uh, fake. They actually look very similar. I did not expect them to look this similar. Um, and then I couldn't find the more realistic hammer look in my Lego collection. I know I have it somewhere, but we're going to look at the type of axe. So on the fake Lego axe... Um, you can see it's more f um, flatter and more black and shorter than the real Lego Axe. And then the real Lego Axe is more silver. Um, well, I have a silver coloring for this one. It's more silver, it's more thicker, and it's a, b and, and it's a bit longer than the fake Lego Axe. Um, enough, look enough for looking at, um, enough of looking at the accessories you also have this little spray bottle up here that just clips onto this one by one clip and then you ha you're supposed to have this fire extinguisher water gun cannon now uh, just it just goes on this one by one clip um, this is a very interesting piece. I don't think I've ever seen this piece or have it in my collection but it will be a fine addition to figure out how what this does and um, there's nothing at the back, but this whole, but the whole in, but the whole inside of the fire engine is actually very like it's like a facade. So technically, without without this piece right here, 
you would just be seeing like the insides of the fire engine that's just being like built on the side so you can like put this up here you can put this back and then it just makes it like it's like complete looking on the side you can see this giant tube piece going up all the way here um there's supposed to be a second tube piece there's supposed to be like a second one of these two pieces in the build but um mine the second one of mine's um got like uh melted into like the bag and so it wouldn't want to come so it didn't come off so now it's just still melted in the back broke in somewhere um and then the main part of the fire engine is the ladder um the ladder um is actually very huge the ladder is very huge so it's i th i i think this is an actual ladder lego piece i don't think i've ever had a, la a lego ladder piece as you can see it's um it's falling apart as usual because these builds are not that good. You you can you're able to spin it any way you want. You can extend it. Um, you can extend it however long you want. You can extend it. This wire piece keeps falling off. You're supposed to clip it there, and then and then put it in whatever spot you want but it forever for whatever reason it doesn't want to work this lego set is trash because it keeps falling off but you can extend the ladder you can put it all the way back you it's on this hinge connection so you could go up and down boom boom and all the accessories are able to be are able to be put into regular minifigures hands as an example i have the 20 not 2009 or 2010 yoda we got the hammer piece for him. Pretty nice. Uh, pretty nice. Um, the wrench. Okay. That's the wrench piece. Then we got the more um, square, circle-ish um, shovel. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I'm going to be using these pieces and cut and like stop motions and stuff. And then we have the axe or whatever it is. Uh, a cleaver. I don't care. And then that's all the accessories. And then we have this regular walkie-talkie piece that you're able to put in the minifigure's hands. Pretty nice, pretty nice. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's it about, that's it for the set. Let's take a look at the packaging and the final verdict. Okay, um, I made a mistake in my, um, speaking, uh, we already looked, I already looked, we already looked at the packaging, I can't speak today, it's very late, I shouldn't be doing this, but I am, it's very late, um, we are, we already took a look at the packaging, but now it's time for the final verdict, overall, this Lego set, um, I don't know, I, I would give this an F, I mean, it's a very bad, like, um, bootleg, um, I, I don't like the figures, like, get out of here, the figures are, like, gone, get out of here, you go get tossed around, go, you're in, you're gonna go in the trash, but, uh, but at the fire truck, I guess, if you're, if you don't want to spend so much money on, like, a regular Lego fire truck, I mean, this would be the option for you, but, but this front bumper piece, the it does not want to stay on very easily, so you got to be careful with that. Um, same with this piece, it keeps getting um, spin around, and especially with the wire piece, it does not want to clip on and then stay where it's supposed to be. It's very, it's, it's the whole Lego set doesn't have a very good camera fell again. The Lego set does not have a very good connection, and if you have for whatever le reason, lost the bumper plate, you're going to have this open area, which you do not want. So, in my opinion, this set gets an F minus for me. Um, I this Lego set, I don't know. This le the Lego set does this bootleg Lego set does not. It's not. I'm not feeling it. I mean, if you want a Lego fire truck, go for it. You, if you want exclusive, like if you want Lego pieces that isn't that is in a very cheap set, go for it. If you if you if you're now getting into Lego, um, and you want to um, experience it for the first time, get the Lego set. I mean, all these all these um, pieces, um, all some of these exclusive pieces and different molding colorings 
go for it. I mean, it's up to you. I, I, I just wouldn't buy, I just wouldn't buy this, in my opinion, but... Yeah, that's my that's my two cents. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this Lego set, and um, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. I don't have uh, outro music, so um, that that was just my outro music. <laughs> Bye. Uh, well, um, anyways, I'll see you later. Bye.